Good morning everyone, welcome to my impromptu video. I had a, a thought in the night, I just, I just, I have these strange thoughts at night, where I have an inflow kimono that I love, I love the colours, I just never wear her, the style didn't really gel with me. I don't know why, um, I can wear a layered under things, but I wanted to layer over things, and this is her. So I had this thought, why don't I try and do something different to her that's pretty easy. Um, most of what I do when I do alterations or dyes are pretty, what I think are pretty basic anyway. So what I've decided to do is to sew up the placket at the front. Okay, and I'll just take these pins out. And I don't know if this is going to work, but it's open and it already has placket, a placket at the front, as you can see. And I like more tops, I'm after more tops, more blouses, more silk blouses in my wardrobe. And I did get the Camper Bay butterfly top once, but that didn't work out for me. The bottom of it was too small. Couldn't, couldn't really get it over my head in an appropriate way that felt comfortable. Um, so I thought, well, why don't I try just altering this lady and then trying to turn her into some kind of very easy top that I could just slip on over my head, but, but then add something in the middle to bring it up like a, a butterfly top. I'm not actually going to do the full butterfly top. The, the butterfly top has two... Uh, lines going down it and then it has um, string or you know fabric going in that you pull up and it ruches it up yeah I'm not really um, at that stage of, of doing that kind of stuff I like pretty basic and easy because what I found out is when I try to do things too much too much can not work out for me <laughs> so I must stick with the basics so all I'm doing I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm just lining up both of the openings. And I thought, well, why don't I get the bottom of this one, put this one over the top of it, okay, and pin it. Hopefully you can see this. What I'm going to do is just adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Okay. So I've just got a lay laid out. And then all I'm going to want to do is join these two together. And if you've already got the bottom bit pinned in, all I've got to do is overlay one. Oh, got yourself with a needle then, one with the other. Just going to pin that one. And then at the top, I'm just going to pin the neck opening just so that when I start sewing it, I've always been afraid of sewing on silk, but since I've got my new sewing machine and I did a silk mew two days ago, I sewed up the hem of it, I, I feel a bit, bit more confident sewing on silk now. Okay, let's get it popped in the sewing machine and see what kind of damage I can do. Line these two up. Okay guys, so they're both together. My setting is on number nine on the machine, which gives a straight edge down one, and then it, it goes across and grabs, I don't know what it's called, but that's the stitch. So let's try it. Is anyone here as nervous as me? Okay. The machine's really pulling the fabric through. I don't have to do anything. Just holding it nice and tight.
it's looking good. Take that out. Show me pins don't go wandering off. And then we're on the home run for the last bit. <laughs> And I'm just going to follow the natural curve round. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've just done one stitch. I'll show you a close-up in a minute going all the way down to join both pieces of fabric together. Now I'm going to go down the other side and just make sure that both of those stay together. I hope. <sighs> My heart is like... <laughs> what a stupid idea. <laughs> Come up with some stupid ideas. Now we're gonna go down the other side. Just finish this line just right at the bottom. Make this look the same. Okay. was a really pretty basic one let me try and get the close-up to show you so the stitch that I used I think that's pretty good see how I curved it in there and you can get a good idea of the stitch there it sort of comes across but then it has the, the line that goes all the way down so I just did that all the way down the front of that now I could have tried the butterfly thing by leaving that open and the bottom open and then putting something through but I'm not that, yeah I'm not that clever. So this is what I've done. Because I would, I mean maybe it'll look nice just as a plain top, I don't know. Um, need to open the door so the cat can come back in in a minute. Okay, I cut off the, the little bits of ends and then we'll see what it looks like then. I think I'm in a camera shot. Okay guys. So I've put on my gold pants. These are the size smaller than I wore yesterday and you can see they fit me nice. I didn't realise they were smaller ones. I just took them out of the closet, put them on. I thought, oh, they, they still fit as good. And this is the top. And for anyone who's thinking, why on earth is she done that? I'm after more blouses and tops that I can wear every day. Y'all know that I'm getting a little bit warm. <laughs> Uh, I'm at that stage of life where I'm getting warm where I do maybe change my clothes a good couple of times a day and this this top has just been sitting over there as an open kimono that I've not really been wearing because I didn't want to deal with having to I don't know it just felt too much too much work so that's why I sewed up that placket let's try it on <laughs> So I have a big opening at the bottom now that I can definitely, hopefully, but yep, yeah, I could get her on. Yeah. Okay, and just as a plain blouse, now I can just wear her as a blouse. I did try doing her as a butterfly type top and what happened is, I think this is just too heavy here. It has to be the really 
it has to be the really fine you know just just one piece of it here but with the placket as you can see being a double placket on top of a double placket hopefully it was just it didn't sit right and i'll show you what i mean when i say i do a butterfly thing is i just get a, a random piece of silk pop it up through the top and do this but i've noticed that the placket's fall into one side so i mean i could do that but the placket is just falling to one side it's not quite didn't quite work out as good as i thought for the mew the mew turned out a lot better than um that i did so i'm not really i'm not really upset about that because this can be my flowers that i wear and now i can actually just wear it as a blouse and she's she's done i don't have to mess around do anything i don't have to worry about all this you know coming undone i can still mess around with her like you know you all you all know that I, I like to mess around with my stuff apparently just do a little knot there and a little knot there So she fits good there's there's place there's enough space there i can get her on and i can just throw this this is just a pull over throw top just to go i'm glad i've done that oh my gosh this has been something that's been bugging me that i've got a piece of counter bay a lovely piece of silk that i've not been wearing because it just didn't lay right on me it just kept opening too much and uh, even though it came with the inflow romper i love the romper but it i don't know i just didn't it didn't gel with me for some reason and now i have a tunic and i'm not at all mad that it didn't turn out as a butterfly top because i'm really liking this it's covering enough there I was going to try it on with my lounge pants that I have. These are the modified lounge pants. You all know, these are the first generation, guys. I know the second generation that's just come out has a different waistband. Excuse me. The first generation waistband was too tight for me. So I cut all that off and then I just got a piece of canther, folded it over, attached it to the pants and put my own stuff in just so it would fit so let me just change my pants i do it off air i don't need to see my legs i just want to see how the clothes turn out okay so this top hopefully okay so here are these lounge pants and they have the purple in them and i've been looking for a top to go with them Oh my gosh, guys, what y'all thinking? I think now I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. <laughs> I can't believe that just turned out as good as I thought. The reason I'm doing a longer necklace, it doesn't need, I mean, I like to wear my longer necklace. I could wear... the shorter one because now i've got this open neckline so let's try them layered over you know i like to try out my um my layering you know my, my different styles of doing stuff with you all because you know we're all learning together on how to to get different styles it's not an automatic thing that comes in life i don't think you have to learn it so this is it with a necklace and i'm not joking guys i'm really really liking it and i think i'm just going to change this for the blue one and the blue will match hopefully the blue oh. you know i'm growing my hair hopefully this will match the blue oh my gosh i've never done blue and purple together i don't think i've ever done blue one this is a this is definitely uh a, like a magenta i've never done these two colors together 
Oh my gosh, guys. So I think you're not wanting another one of these stuff. <laughs> I'm terrible because as soon as I get something that works really well for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want like a hundred of them. So this is my modified in flow kimono. And like I say, there are different ways that I could have done it, but I wanted the most basic, basic. It's very easy that if someone's watching my video and they want to, they've got one and they want to give it a go, that it's just basic. I just literally put the two sides together, as you can see, and I just did the stitch up both. And I wanted it to stay like firmly stitched and look like part of the pattern. So that's why I did. I mean, you, you probably saw it before. That's why I did the placket like that with that lovely little design going all the way down. It looks like it's meant to be that way now. But I mean, even if you are not the most, and I'm not the most, brilliant person on a sewing machine you could you could just do one sew all the way down um i suppose if you don't want to sew you could just put a brooch there but then it keeps opening up and that's what i didn't like i don't like messing around during the day i'm going to mess around with these two aren't i i can see it already and at that point in my life where i don't want to mess around i just want to put something on and have it stay for the rest of the day i don't want to have to keep pulling pants up i don't want to have to keep getting things together but I feel that this is a really really nice comfortable two colors I've never worn together before uh, to be honest I'm really liking them and I feel that it's a way that I've I've taken a, a, a piece of clothing that I wasn't wearing haven't worn it for over a year I've I've done videos where I've tried layering it but it kept coming undone you know even underneath my harmony it kept coming undone but now i don't have to mess around there's no messing around <laughs> i don't know it's like it's a crazy it's it must be the crazy gene but anyhow anybody who has one of these who is maybe not loving it and it's in your closet and you're thinking i don't know that that kimono doesn't work maybe you want to give it a go one stitch all the way down you've got yourself a, a tunic that's already done the sleeves are perfect the colors perfect thank goodness it turned out eh <laughs> that's all i can say this is what i'm going to wear the rest of the day i feel comfortable i don't feel constricted in any way this was loose loose enough it's not as loose as a kimono uh, as a mew i mean but it's loose enough Thank you for watching guys my crazy little video that i just did impromptu thank you for watching bye